This is regarding the control controlling the masses through mass transportation. Well, this is part two of controlling the masses through mass transportation. Well, I was going over some information that I forgot to add in the first video. It's it's regarding about the Port Authority and Agenda 21 and so on and etc. Well, I'm just going to start off. I'm going to have to read this. It This is about, well, the Port Authority of Allegheny County. Stephen Bland stated to the press that they were going to sell Port Authority rights. Well, Stephen Bland and the CEO and the active board members of the Port Authority of Allegheny County opened up negotiation, negotiating talks with Lenzer Coach Lines about selling Port Authority bus rats or lines back in October of 2011. This will not be good for the public of the metropolitan area of Pittsburgh and all of Allegheny County because there will there because there will there will be not I mean there will be no fare boxes on these buses the public will have to pay about $230 or more or two hundred and thirty dollars or two hundred and forty dollars for a monthly bus pass uh, I'm gonna continue here just thinking about a small big small or big private company companies trying to make a dollar or money in bad economic times well I am not sticking up for any small, big, privately owned bus companies, well, and so on and etc. My own opinion, I feel the, that the selling of the bus rats or lines to any privately owned bus company will only work for a real short time. It's designed purposely to fail so the masses can have can have a reaction and turn to the government for for a solution. The solution would the solution would be incorporate all control of bus service to the government to make the Southwestern Pennsylvania Transit Authority. Once again, bigger is better. That's what they said when they merged, when the Allegheny County merged, well, basically bought out all the mom and pop uh, privately owned bus service mass transit services throughout the Allegheny the Allegheny, the Allegheny County area and my response to that bigger is not better at all it will be a great inconvenience for anybody that does not own a car that's poor or any middle class person any for any middle class middle class working people or persons and well I have another comment please do a Google a complete Google search about problem reaction solution and also and also Obama a president Obama agenda 21 or the UN agenda 21 um, well 
I just want to go over the things that I just said. The Port Authority of Allegheny County, Stephen Bland, and the active board, board and committee of the Port Authority of Allegheny County opened up talks with the uh, with Lenzer Coach Line to sell any existing Port Authority rats or bus lines to Lenzer Coach Lines, and they opened up the uh, the negotiating for talks to do this to sell. Well, basically to sell off the bus the rights to the uh, bus rats or bus lines to Lenzer Coach Lines. And the prices, everyone thinks the price, it will be fair and friendly competition, not just with Lenzer, but other privately owned uh, companies that will own, basically compete and own privately owned mass transit uh, bus lines for the public to ride. In 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 bad economic times, a company, a big or small company, would want to make a dollar or make money in bad economic times. So they're going to have to make money by having high prices, something like somewhere between $230 or $240 for a monthly bus pass. And there will not be a fare box in the bus from what I understand. That's so vagrants won't be able to enter the bus and get a free bus ride out of the deal. You have to have a bus pass when you a monthly or weekly bus pass when you enter the uh the so called bus wherever you're going. And I feel the uh the buses once the uh, the privately owned companies get a hold of these bus lines, it would only work for a very short time. And I also stated in there, uh, well, for a short time, in due time, it would fail. And then the masses would react, or the masses will have a reaction, and they'll turn to the government for a solution. And that's part of problem, reaction, solution. Create the uh, the artificial problem, then get a reaction from the masses. Then the masses will turn turn to the government for a solution, and the solution will be dire, much dire than the artificial problem that was created. This is done by design between corporation and government. This is purposely done by design con- to, to control the masses so they could have so they could react to any thing that a corporation or a government wants to make a an, artif- an artificial problem they, they know they're going to get a reaction from uh the masses and the masses are going to turn around for a solution from the local, county, or federal governments in this country. And that's been going on for uh, well over a century. you got to think of the Great Depression. That was an, an, uh, the Great Depression of 1929-1930. That was a, uh, a manufactured problem to get a reaction from the masses. And then the masses will turn to the government for a solution and the solution will be much more dire than the artificial made up uh, situation that caused the problem in the first place and well basically uh, if the companies if the company you're gonna have Lenzer Coach Line and a variety of other different coach line, privately owned businesses take over mass transit. It's only going to work for a short time. 
because the prices will be too high for the poor and the middle class families to afford, only the rich. And eventually, the this design will fail will purposely it's purposely orchestrated so it can fail so the masses could have a reaction so the so the masses could react and that reaction will be turning to the government and asking for a solution and the solution will be the making of the southwestern pennsylvania mass transit authority and once again this was said back in 1964. Bigger is better. That's what the uh, the Port Authority of Allegheny County, well, that's what the county of Allegheny County said in 1964. Bigger is going to be better, and it's going to be convenient for everyone. But my opinion, bigger is not better. And I also ask the uh, the people please do a Google search on problem reaction solution and also Obama Agenda 21 or UN Agenda 21. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic saying, uh, this is Patriot of the Republic 1 MAF 1989B Mike Fulmer saying so long and goodbye and audios for now. This is the end of uh, controlling the masses through mass transportation part two. Uh, let me just say one thing. Bigger is not better. Do not accept the, uh, well, I hope the masses do wake up and realize what's going on in this county and throughout the United States, throughout the United States, and, and hold the politicians that are guilty of misleading and robbing, letting these big central m mega foreign banks rip off this country and put it in an oppression, I mean, a, depre a de depression-like state. It's up to the people to react properly, to wake up properly, and to hold the feet, I mean, hold the fire to the, polit to the corrupt politicians that are bought off by these mega offshore banks or these banksters, and hold, and hold the fire to these crooked politicians. That includes the, the current president that we have in there right now, President Barack Obama. And that also hold the uh, fire to the feet to the former president, George W. Bush and Dick Cheney and that whole entire administration. They mislead us. They, they mislead us about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. We did not find any weapons of mass destruction in that country. We basically invaded a country, took it over, and, and established a full powerful foothold with our military industrial complex taking over that nation well this is Patriot of the Republic one Mike Fulmer saying so long and goodbye for now hasta la vista everybody goodbye <laughs>